severe prime. Yo, let's make a nasty beat for Ice Spice. Let's go. For the first melody, I jumped into Nexus in one of my expansion packs and ended up grabbing this Skyflow Skyfire preset. For the effects, I kept it real simple. I've basically just got an EQ, taking out some lows and highs, dipping some of the mids. It's a real basic pattern just to get the bounce going. For this beat, we're in 147 BPM and I'm over in D minor. This is the pattern that we came up with. For the second melody, we actually stayed in the exact same folder. This time I went in and grabbed this Skyflow Stellar preset. For the effects on this one, another EQ, taking out some lows and highs. This time raising some of the high mids and dipping some of the mids. And I've also got this Vintage Valhalla Reverb. The mix turned out to 94%. This is the pattern we have for that one. For the third melody, we basically just went into Keyzone Classic. I grabbed this Yamaha Grand Piano preset. I've just got a little bit of EQ, taking out some of the lows, boosting some of the low mids. This is basically just some real low piano notes just to give the melody a little bit more feel. And for the final sound, we basically just grabbed this hit. Now this is all the patterns that we came up with played together. That sounded nice. As you can tell, I've kept it real simple. This gives a lot more room for the drums. So what we're going to do now, I'm just going to go add in a hi-hat and we're going to see what we can come up with. You know the vibe. We're jumping straight into the clockwork MIDI kit as well. I think I'm just going to go speed this one up a little bit. Ooh, that sounds nasty. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to start layering in some percussion. So I'm going to grab a clap, a few snares, maybe a few perks as well. And we're just going to get the bounce going. So let's see what we can come up with. <laughs> So I've got a nice little pattern on the go. I've kept it fairly simple. I've got a clap lay with a main snare and we've just added in a few perks here and there as well. All this does is just fills up some of the empty spaces in the beat and basically just adds to the bounce even more. So this is the pattern that we have so far. <laughs> Ooh, that is sounding vibey. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to waste no time once again. We're going to get straight into the 808. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Hit 
Hey, that is sounding sick. What we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna add in a kick and we're gonna make the AOE punch a little bit harder. Oh, that is sounding nice. What we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna right click the pattern, split by channel, and we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna rearrange this into a full beat. So I've got a nice little bit of structure on the go. I'm adding a few different effects out of my kit. And what this does is just lets the listener know that there's something new about to come in at the end of the bar. We've also got these beat cutouts here and there as well. This just adds to the tension of the beat and basically just stops the track sounding so repetitive as it goes on. Finally, I've added in my tag in there too. And I think that pretty much tops it off for this one. So I think all I have to do now is just have a quick listen. nasty i'm liking the sound of this one okay guys that's it for me i hope you guys enjoyed the video and you're feeling the beat as well i'm gonna go ahead finish off mixing and mastering this beat now but if you haven't already make sure you follow my instagram at severe prod to keep updated with all the upcoming videos and giveaways that i have coming out soon anyway hope you guys enjoyed this one make sure you leave a like subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one